She told him. I never thought she would, but I should have known better. I've got to get a hold of Bella. I've got to explain to him somehow. Where is he? Who would know where he is? Hi, Jane. Ah, uh, the desk clerk asked me to give this to you. Oh, Sandy, thank you so much. Um, how are you? You know, considering we live right across the hall from each other, I very seldom get a chance to see you. I know, but, well, of course I was in Florida all that time. Oh, I know. And I haven't been doing much entertaining over at the fan pass, but we really do have to get together soon. Well, we will. Look, I, I would ask you to come in, but I'm right in the midst of trying to get hold of Bowen. Uh, something wrong? Yes, Sandy, I, I'm sorry that I, I can't explain it to you. I just, um, I have to talk to him. I, I can't find him. Listen, Jane, would you like me to try to... No, 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 sweetheart. That's very nice of you. I'm sure I'll get a hold of him. This is nothing to worry about. I just... I, I'm just in a rush. Forgive me. Oh, it's perfectly all right. I, I hope everything works out. Well, thank you. And I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye-bye. This is Mrs. Spencer. Jane Spencer, are you new at the desk? I was just wondering if you've seen my son come in tonight. You do know my son? Yes. Well, I just um, thought perhaps he might have come back to his office. And his room? You mean he took a room here last night? I see. Uh, yes, would you please ask the operator to ring it? Thank you. No, no, that's all right. I'll try it again. Thank you so much. You did invite me over for a drink. Did you forget? No, no, of course I didn't forget. Come on in. Where's Mary? Well, she'll join us a little later. She had to work a little late at the office. Oh, that's a shame. Well, um, can I fix you a drink? Or do you want to wait for her? Or what, what should we do? Well, why don't we wait a little while? Uh, unless you want one now. Yes, I think. I don't. I. I don't think that's going to help me at all. Jane, is something the matter? Yes, Ralph. I guess that's uh, perfectly obvious. I, I'm not going to pretend. Well, maybe Mary and I can drop by for a drink some other evening. Oh, oh no, no, please, really? please, no, 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 please, please don't go. I'm just a little bit on edge, and I. I would so appreciate someone to talk to. Will you stay? Well, of course. Listen. Does this have anything to do with Bo? Oh, yes. It certainly does. But this afternoon, you said that that problem had all been taken care of. I thought it had been, but I... <clears throat> I just found out that that's not the case. I... See, Ralph, I've got to get hold of him. I, I can't. I've, I've tried every place I can think of. Maybe if I could reach Melinda. Uh, not that I ever want to speak to her again. I just... But I don't know how... I, I don't understand how she could have done this to me. I... I mean, I've kept this secret all these years, and... I... Look, you're a good friend. You had no idea. No idea about what? Oh, Ralph, I'm sorry. You, you don't even know what I'm talking about. No, I don't.
Bo isn't my son. He isn't? No. I mean, I raised him, and I... I've always thought of him as my child. Well, you adopted him. No, 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 no. I have just passed myself off as his mother all these years. And you're afraid that Bo knows about it now? He does. He told me that on the phone. You see, the problem is I just, I didn't have any time to explain to him because he hung up and I haven't been able to reach him and... Oh, 